Hello, my friends. Okay. I'm gonna rant a little bit over a couple of articles I've seen recently. You'll find the links elsewhere on, on my blog. Um, basically, you know, technology... I understand that technology changes and whatnot, but uh, when you phase out items such as CDs and DVDs and whatnot, uh, I'm sorry, I have built a collection. Actually, right now we're talking about at least 530. It's a, it's a good chunk of change, and it's a lot of... It's a lot to just completely phase it out and declare it you know, completely gone. Like in this article, this one guy uh, says about CDs, basically. Using CDs and DVDs to view and store content will soon be a thing of the past. CDs are clearly not going to make it over the next 10 years because everything will shift over to pure digital distribution. Uh, so all those shiny discs will be gone. No, they won't. They will be in my living room, you dipshit. Okay? No. No. In fact, I mean, this thing, okay, that's an mp3 player. And what do you have? I have, I don't know, how many albums are here? 40? Whatever. Maybe more. Uh, but... Uh, in my case, I have them on CD, I just transfer them over, so if, but if I didn't, if I just download it, then this is it, this is my entire, this is my entire thing, this is my entire album, it's there, that's it, it's on a screen, it doesn't do it for me, okay, I need this, okay, Look at this beauty, all right? And it's a double CD. And look at that. Look at the look at the liner notes. Do I get that with this? Do I? What do I get? Little words on a screen. Not enough. I want I want the actual item that I can hold in my hand. Okay. It, a, a, a screen with some words on it, it's not enough, okay? But you know what? Uh, regardless of what these uh, techno-savvy people say, not even LPs have really gone away, have they? You recognize that lady? Janis Joplin, okay? Um... Take five, Dave Brubrick, a classic. I have more. Um, and this is Richard Davis, a monster bass player. Do you even find this on CD? No. Uh, can you download it? No. Uh, <laughs> so I don't understand this whole mentality of uh, things going away. I don't know if you remember these. Yes, cassette tapes, okay? I only have about a hundred now. Um, but my parents threw away like 40 or 50 of them. But again, it goes back to having the actual item as opposed to just words on a screen. I even used to, which this would be the equivalent of illegal downloading, something I haven't done at all. I haven't even bought any downloaded music, just one album because the CD came in defective. But other than that, and this is a copy you make yourself with the marker. And with like, you you write out the songs and whatnot. And sometimes I went as far as drawing silly shit. So, I mean, about cassettes, there's another article that says basically that uh, cassette sales are actually up about 50% this year from the previous year okay and that's not even including people using these just actual 
store-bought tapes, you know, made by a record company like this. Um, so I, this bothers me that, oh, the, it's gonna be phased out, and in ten years, there's the discs are gonna be gone. You know what? Fuck you. Fuck you in the eye, okay? Uh, even the Oxford freaking freaking dictionary is removing the term cassette player from its concise dictionary. Hopefully not from all versions of their dictionaries, but still, cassettes are here. They're not, you know, even if it's an extinct extinct species, you don't delete the name. Okay, so basically. I don't know if you agree, I, I mean, I'm 36 years old, so I'm sure if you're in your very early 20s or younger, you're probably gonna looking at all this and going, what the hell are those things that this guy's showing? And secondly, who gives a shit? I'm fine just look downloading it. Okay, fine with you, but it, again, for me, nothing can replace this. Words on a screen do not do it. And I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but, uh, yes, it's convenient. As far as, you don't have to carry this shit around, it's bulky. But, I do love sitting down and reading through the lyrics and learning who played what instrument and where it was recorded and... Everything about it, this is, you know what I mean? And this is something that the newer generations somehow don't care about. Teenagers probably don't give a shit about any of that. Fine. I'm just saying I have a problem with it, and I don't give a shit what companies say. I'm gonna keep buying fucking CDs, okay? This is a CD that came out freaking last month. Did I download it? No. I bought the fucking CD. Alright? And this is what I'm gonna keep on doing. For as long as anybody makes them, I'm gonna buy them. I don't want to download, okay? I'll convert it to the MP3 myself. But it's not enough. So, sorry if I'm repeating myself. Later, taters.